Hello, beautiful soul. I am Dr. Andrea Pennington, host of the Conscious Evolution podcast and founder and chief resilience officer for Innate Vitality. Today is a short episode on why I'm so focused on your conscious evolution. Ever since I was a kid, I have been intrigued by the power of the mind understanding that synchronicity and magic and prayer, all of these things like work, but how? And then in my early professional life, working with a lot of Hollywood superstars, they're just like you and me, they have drama and trauma, but something allowed them to like excel and spring forward after the drama and trauma in their lives. And I became fascinated with this idea of human potential, my own, and then for my clients and my patients. And what has been really pivotal for me is recognizing that we humans are the only species that we know of that can use our mind, our conscious awareness to drive our evolution. So learning from the late Barbara Marks Hubbard, the concept of this evolving version of humanity stems from the, the understanding that Typically, with evolution, it's the environment that drives how a species evolves. Is there light? Is there dark? Is there rain? Is there food? What kinds of food? Is there war? Is there terror? All of these external influences can drive a species to evolve. We humans have the capacity to use our own consciousness and choose to evolve voluntarily. And that strikes me because it ties together all of my life from childhood, my fascination with mysticism, spirituality, transpersonal psychology, depth psychology, positive psychology, and of course, my neuroscience nerdiness. So it brings it all together in this way. There are specific techniques and tactics. There are practices and there is just the tuning in to your heart and soul that can help you become the future you now. And not just the future you as in the aged version of you. I'm saying if you could imagine the you of the future that is optimized, that is truly living in alignment with your goals, with your heart, with your soul, that is moving forward in a way that you would be proud of, that if you were to die on this day in the future, you would be able to die with no regrets, having felt that you've used your life energy. Now, I'm not talking about forcing you to become anything that you're not. I'm simply saying, even if we didn't achieve the fullness of our future vision, in that pursuit, in that evolution, we will get to a sense of joy and pride and fulfillment. And this to me is really important because having worked for 22 years, helping people heal from trauma and resolve their issues from adverse childhood experiences, I've been in the dark, the dark side of healing for a long time. And I'm so grateful for the thousands of people around the world and the millions of people who've seen my talks and, and presentations and documentary films, I'm grateful that I've been able to have these ongoing conversations to help people make sense of what's in the shadow, heal and integrate it and live fuller lives. And as I am entering a new phase of my own life, I really want to inspire people to choose to evolve consciously rather than waiting on the external environment to force us to evolve. And that's kind of what happened with the COVID-19 pandemic, we were all forced to adapt. Now, adaptation could be a limited time thing. You did it then and then you ditch those things. For example, we were all forced to learn how to go online for telehealth or school and even business. Uh, so you may say, okay, well, now that COVID is done, I just wanna go back to in-person meetings and forget about all that online stuff. That would just be an adaptation, a short-lived. But what if this COVID pandemic activates something within you that says, I am now going to choose to work on these parts of myself that 
Previously, I just kind of swept under the rug or just tolerated. What if I now choose to level up on a cellular level, on a neurological level? So what we've learned in the last 20 something years is that our brain is plastic. When I went to medical school, they were still thinking that, okay, if you've done anything to fry your brain, you're shit out of luck. And that's not true. We now know that neuroplasticity exists from our entire lives. We can grow new neurons, we can make new connections. And why is that important? Because even if you've been driving pathways into your brain of unhealthy habits, even beliefs or systematic reactions, you can create new pathways, which means you can experience life in a different way, which means you can change your mood, you can change your attitude, you can change your outlook and perspective, you can change your physical health. See, we have more power over our physical health all the way down to a DNA level. We have more power than the most powerful medicine, surgeon, or anything else out there. And about, about 10 years ago, this idea of harnessing this power through a very conscious and deliberate process, rather than the haphazard process that happens naturally in evolution, it became obvious to me when I moved to France, because once again, the environment forced me to adapt the way that I was working with people. I was now working with people in the United States, based in France, then flying to different locations and doing events and, and doing TV. And people would ask, like, how do I keep what I learned from you going? And one of the things outlined in the Real Self Love Handbook is something called the Cornerstone Process. It is a five step proven methodology for building resilience, for healing from trauma, for developing more insight and ultimately liberating your authentic self. So this five-step process that I used in my medical practice with people who had binge eating disorder or other substance use disorders, I used it in this holistic healing environment for uh, this intensive outpatient program. And then as people graduated and left, they continue to have this process to help them work through the issues of the past and the present and to create an inspiring future. So now after 17 years of using the Cornerstone practice and teaching it at the International University of Monaco, I now have a breadth of different client groups, if you will. And what it's shown me is that this model can now help people who want to prepare for surgery, prepare for a psychedelic experience, whether that's ayahuasca or DMT or ketamine or psilocybin mushrooms, MDMA, mescaline, bufo. We can use this five-step methodology to, to give you a framework for your conscious evolution process. It takes a little less of the, the randomness of life and it puts you more in a sense of agency and power. And we know that for psychological well-being, we each need to feel that we are the active agent in our life. We are both the, the principal actor and the author. And when we have that sense of agency, we know that that improves psychological well-being, it improves our resilience, and ultimately that's what we need. We need to be resilient, but we also need to be forward thinking. So on the Conscious Evolution podcast, I will be interviewing experts from a range of different disciplines to explore all the different ways that we can use our conscious mind, our own awareness to evolve beyond where we are today and to evolve into this amazing future you that inspires you, that challenges you, and that will give you that sense of ultimate fulfillment. So I'm curious what topics you'd like to hear about conscious evolution. What things are you looking to evolve beyond or transcend? And what are you excited about embodying in the future? Are you ready to level up? No more excuses, no more game playing, no more blaming, but like taking accountability and responsibility for your life 
and moving that forward. We will be bringing the best of the best of super conscious energy healing work, positive psychology, um, neurobiology, breath work, attunement, all of the good things that I have been sharing in the real self-love movement and with my private clients, and just helping you take a deeper dive um, with a very sort of focused intention on your evolution. So stay tuned. I can't wait to share this with you. We are going to kick off with a series of interviews on psychedelic assisted therapy and sacred ceremonies with entheogens, psychedelics. And in particular, there are a series of interviews and some solo podcasts about Black, Indigenous, and people of color and the use of psychedelics and sacred medicines around the world. This is a very important theme for me because I have never shared all of the experiences that impacted my mental well-being or mental illness, especially as it pertains to race. And now having had some experiences where some very dear friends have left this planet, some intentionally who have died by suicide, I realize I can't be silent anymore. There are millions of people who are suffering and I believe that some of the experiences I've had and the people that I am now connected with could help people on their healing journey. So thanks for sticking with me through this entire video. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or shoot me an email. I look forward to bringing you the Conscious Evolution podcast and retreats all around the world. Until we meet again, my friend, please remember this. You are a gift to this world. So share your presence with passion. Much love. Want more info on how psychedelics may improve your mental well-being? How to choose a retreat? Or what to look for in a shaman? Get on the Psychedelic Curious email journal. The link is in the show notes and on my website, Andrea Pennington. Dot com. On my website, you can also sign up for my free masterclass series, where each month I take a deep dive into a topic in holistic healing, trauma recovery, self-love, and resilience. Thank you for tuning into the Conscious Evolution Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and share it with a friend. Also, leave us a review and a rating on your favorite podcast player. This helps us get the content out to a larger audience. And to watch the video version of this podcast, visit the Pennington Media YouTube channel.